Hey guys, so today I'm gonna eat, well, <laughs> using both hands to wave. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be talking about my February favorites, and this list is actually gonna be in clothes, makeup, favorite TV show, favorite movie, favorite music, favorite book, did I already say that? I don't think so. Um, favorite hairstyle, too. Yeah, that's gonna be in there. Um, so let's just jump right into it with favorite piece of clothing that I've been wearing throughout February a ton of times and I seriously just throw on some leggings throw on my boots and this cardigan so this is the cardigan that I've been wearing pretty much 24 7 if you can see it um, for pretty much the whole month of February and probably some of January and probably some of March um, so yeah I throw this on throw a tank top on or a t-shirt or maybe like a long sleeve, throw on my black leggings and my boots and I'm done. Like that's it. Um, but yeah, this is like, just like a really long, really it's, I like the material of it. It's not super thin, it's not super thick and the pattern is kind of like an Aztec indie kind of um, really cool patterns and stuff like that. So lately I've been trying to slowly get out of my winged eyeliner phase because I, I feel like I'm dependent on that kind of style and it really makes my eyes bigger because without them, oh, that looks scary. Um, so I've been just doing, I don't know, like some basic browns and neutrals and stuff. And I've been using, I've been getting back into this, is the Color Tattoo by Maybelline. This is the Bad to the Bronze. It's a really, I don't know how to explain this color brown. It's just a brown, bronzy. But anyways, it's, you know what's tricky about this? Is that they give you a little bit, but there's a ton in there, really. Like, so it's just the jelly, jelly eyeshadow stuff. Um, put it on your eyes good to go kind of um but I use a little bit because it goes a long way and it's really pretty they have tons of colors and there's they're coming out with like um different shades and different um shimmery ones more pigmented ones um ones that are just powder not the gel but I've been using this it's an old favorite I've been getting back into but yeah, that's a 24-hour eyeshadow color tattoo by iStudio Maybelline, New York. So my favorite TV show would still be The Walking Dead. Um, I am so much more into zombies than I was last year. And I believe it just started picking up like February 8th. There are only like a couple episodes in. But the season is almost over. And it's kind of sad. So favorite movies of the month, um, I think I would say, I'd have to say two, uh, The Conjuring and Insidious 2. I don't remember when those came out, but The Conjuring, I was kind of like, eh, it doesn't, it looks dumb, but I watched it, it was a little dumb, but um, it was really good, like, and it was based on a true story, which is kind of creepy, but... It was good. I liked it. So Insidious 2, that one is a great movie. I mean, the whole style of how they film and everything and how it's just like played out and everything is just phenomenal. I really liked it. I really liked the first one too. So moving on to music, I've been listening to Pandora a lot lately and there are two things first. One, there's a new band that I like on Pandora that I found which is called Electric Guest. Um, this is their one of their albums, but I it's like um, kind of like pop electric indie. I think it's really cool. So this um, this album is called Mondo, um, but it's just like two statues on the front cover. It's really interesting. I love like electric and indie kind of mixed together. It's really cool. And then I also really love um, Happy by Farrell. I don't know how to, I don't remember his name. Yeah. 
he just wears a big hat. <laughs> I remember him. Um, you probably heard it on the radio. It's catchy. It makes me feel happy. That's a good thing about it. I like that song. Moving on to favorite book. So I'm in school right now and I have an English class and we have to read a book called Silent Spring and I was excited to have a book to read for English class but I, you guys, you know I love science and I get excited about it. This book is all about the environment and science. How cool is that? Um, it's really awesome. You know what? But um, I'm only three chapters in. It's beautifully written, but it's just taking me a little time because it's just kind of ginormous. So Silent Spring by Rachel Carson. It is so cool. And in the book, there's pictures. There are pictures in the book. Oh, let me find one. Like, look at this one. It's cool. And yeah, the illustration is just beautiful, I think. Here's another one. But yeah, so this book is about the environment and science and medical stuff. I really like it. If you kind of like that stuff, you should check it out, maybe. I don't know. I want to keep this book. I'm actually, after this semester and I finish reading this book, I'm going to order it off of Amazon and read it again. That's, it's going to happen. Okay, and then the very last thing for my February favorites is favorite hairstyle. And now this one, I don't know how I came upon it, but I've been wearing it like almost every single day in February because it's just so easy. I call it pony braid or ponytail braid. It's pretty much a ponytail and a braid and I'll show you guys how to do it. So simply just put your hair up in a ponytail So once you have your hair up in a ponytail, I will turn this way, you want to grab, get three strands from your ponytail and then braid it, and then that's it. So that is what I call a ponytail braid. It's, I think it's cute. I like it. It's the easiest hairstyle and like if you leave it in for a while and then take it out then your hair is all wavy and pretty so it is very fun you can also just tighten this up here and then loosen it and flatten it out so if you want it bigger but um yeah that is it That's, that is how you do the pony braid so that is it for this video if you guys liked it give it a thumbs up because that would be awesome and I have noticed that I have gained a couple more subscribers, which, I mean, is, is like, some people is like, nah, that's like nothing. That's not even a lot. But I really appreciate it, so I just like to thank you guys and tell you that I love seeing all your comments and thumbs up and all the views and stuff that I've been getting. It really helps us out, like, when we want to grow bigger in the YouTube community. So I'll see you guys next Friday with a brand new video, and have a wonderful Friday, because I haven't said that in a long time. Mm. Bye guys!